Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Fiolena TV. I hope you well from whatever you watch this channel. So there is a particular video that I've stumbled upon from the former president of the United States of America. And I'm talking about Barack Obama. We all know that Barack Obama has his roots here in Kenya. And sometimes some events that take place in Kenya always attract his attention. So there's a video that I've stumbled upon and the words that Barack mentioned there in that during his speech were resonating well with the activity going on on the GNZ movement. Every generation has the opportunity to remake the world. Mandela said, young people are capable when aroused of bringing down the towers of oppression and raising the banners of freedom. Ever since this Gen Z movement started, I have seen so many reactions from different countries, from Ghana to Niger to Nigeria, South Africa. There was a time Malema also offered some reaction. So I want us to go to this video regarding what Barack Obama said. But first of all, let me take you to a certain footage of the peaceful demonstrators when they left Uhuru Park and proceeded to Moy Avenue. Just watch this video. So I want us to go to that video where Barack Obama has made a statement which is believed to be a statement is in support of Generation Z movement. But before you get there, please like this video. It's so important if you like this video. And I'm so grateful for everyone who has been liking our video. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed before. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. One of the vocal speakers in the world, one that so many people have admired, has always been Barack Obama. Of course, there is also Vusi Tembakwayo, one of the most renowned speakers of South Africa. But in this analysis, our point of concern is what Barack Obama said. So allow me to take you to this video. Just watch this video. I don't just need one leader. We don't just need one inspiration. What we badly need right now is that collective spirit. And I know that those young people, those hope carriers, are gathering around the world. Because history shows that whenever progress is threatened, and the things we care about most are in question, we should heed the words of Robert Kennedy, who spoke here in South Africa. He said, our answer is the world's hope. It is to rely on youth. It's to rely on the spirit of the young. So young people who are in the audience, who are listening. My message to you is simple. Keep believing. Keep marching. Keep building. Keep raising your voice. Every generation has the opportunity to remake the world. Mandela said, young people are capable when aroused of bringing down the towers of oppression and raising the banners of freedom. Now's a good time to be aroused. Now's a good time to be fired up. What Barack is talking about, bringing down the Tower of Babel. If you go to another separate statement, a statement that Okia Omtata also dished out, there's a video that was recorded. I think that that time Okia Omtata was joining Hurupak because I understand he went there to in solidarity with the youths. So Okia Omtata managed to get an abrupt, you know, interview from the youths who were there, and he shed light on the history of Kenya and how the liberation movement started. So what Okiom that was trying to say in, an, in, a, in very few words is that the youths need to continue with their struggle. And that is in line with what Barack Obama has also said. Because Barack Obama says the youth are the future. 
and that is the reality. With the various, the various phases of the liberation, the second liberation, whereby we were able to get this uh, multipartism, then eventually you got the new constitution. But the old forces always regroup and subvert the achievements. At the independence, they regrouped through Yoma Kenyatta and the independence became useless. So we need to go back and get people who realize that now in Wajumbe, they come from a catchment area that wants them to do something, they are not an end in themselves. That might be the reason why some people may not be realizing that they cannot work. Me, I've never, I've never forgotten that I'm, I was elected by the people to serve them. And I continue to serve the people. That's why I work freely, without any bodyguard, without anything. Your message to the Gen Z's, to the young people? The Gen Z's, the only message I give you, look at the Arab Spring and how it was subverted. Don't begin negotiating with the enemy. Make your demand and stick by it. Don't step back from the demand that Ruto must go. If you step back and Ruto stays, he's going to dismantle all of you and mess you up. So right now he's cornered and he must go. There are no two ways about it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Because even if you go to the statement of Raila Mulodinga, Raila also echoed the same. The youths are the future. So in very few words, ladies and gentlemen, I think I agree with the statement from Barack Obama. Now, if I go to post-analysis of this Sabasaba celebration that took place at Uhuru Park, I can as well say that it was very, very successful. Of course, there are footages that I've seen about pictures, people taking pictures with anti riot police, you know, and this was to symbolize that they are in fact not what William Ruto called the criminals. The <laughs> they are not criminals. So that's why you find that youths were taking a lot of photos with the police and the route police there. And the route police enjoyed the event because to them, they realized that Kumbata Yokazi in Raisi. You see, when there are dem demonstrations normally, the police who are not subjected to causing Humu Sana tear gas running up and down Kule, Maui, Narushua, you know, it has it's always tiresome. So that at the end of the day, Ukiregea Kokambi, Umechoka. But if you look at the event of the Sabasaba Day celebration, police, I think I couldn't police to Alirusha tear gas because there was no need for, because there was no uh, there was no destruction of public property. In fact, that is already uh, uh, sending a message to the commands, you know, especially to Bungay. Bungay has been uh, criticized lately as to having been the person who all, always dishes out uh, instructions that are always meant to, you know, m interfere with the peaceful processions. So if this time round they were not given a directive to throw tear gas, then maybe the police, while Leona Komba and Yomana the event was very successful. Here's a video on Apple, the ones that I've just shared on your screen. Look at them again. Those are people, youths taking photos with anti riot police. So personally, I think the Sabasaba feat was very successful and Obama's message has been well received. But as to who this message was being sent to, personally, I think it was directed at the leadership of Kenya. In the leadership of the world, you so you see, uh, Barack Obama can't just mention uh, a particular country, because he's a he was a president of a super a superpower country. So being a president of a superpower country, he can only address the world, but address a specific group, and he was addressing the youths. That message was directed at the youths, but again, a strong warning to the people leaders who are inflicting a lot of pain on the youths and he was trying to remind these leaders that youths are the leaders of tomorrow so don't disenfranchise them that was the message ladies and gentlemen
I'd like to raise my case there, but just go below the comment section and you can offer your reaction regarding what Barack Obama said and whether you also believe that that message could have been targeted at the leadership of Kenya. And the message, of course, we know that that message was to the youths, but the message was sending another warning to the leadership of countries like Kenya. Perhaps if you're watching this video and are not subscribed, please take one second and subscribe, like this video. Until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.